and welcome to Tome of Uselessness. I'm Devin. I'm Dan. And today we're talking Endgame. Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I was trying to think how many things of the name Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> we're reviewing the 1987 classic Endgame. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like Tron, but lower budget. Nice. Just kidding. Avengers 2019 Endgame. But first... We like stuff. What yeah. did you like this week, Darren? I finally got around to reading Grant Morrison's All-Star Superman run oh. of comics, which everyone touts as like, this is the Superman comics to read. Uh, I've never really read them. And it's basically, it's like an arc. Uh, Lex Luthor like poisons him by poisoning the sun with Kryptonian radiation. So he knows mm. he's going to die. And then it's about him just doing a bunch of like Superman-esque feats before he dies eventually. And like trying to prep the world for when he's gone really good. I really cool. enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's about like, it. That's the only thing you like? Well, now, of course, the movie we're about to talk about. Oh, yeah. And Game of Thrones, but we're going to talk about that later. So. Yeah. There will be a Game of Thrones episode. Yeah. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> or not, because it'll fail again. Because it'll fail again. <laughs> it's cursed. Um, I'd be really into watching Bon Appetit videos mm. on YouTube. That's basically my life right now. That I watch, <laughs> I like watching Carla cook things, and I like watching Claire cook things. Mm -hmm. Claire's videos are, you don't care, you don't know who these people are, but Claire's <laughs> videos are really fun because she takes stuff that exists, like yeah. Twinkies, and tries to make a gourmet version. Right, I remember you telling me about that. But keep, like, the flavor profile as close to being the same. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I like those. Cool. And Carla does a series where she'll take, like, a celebrity-ish, and then they cook back to back, and she explains to the celebrity what they're doing, and the right. celebrity tries to follow along. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Cool. That's the only thing I like. <laughs> and Avengers. And Avengers. <laughs> so, I guess, did you like it? Oh, absolutely. It's it's It was amazing, and there... It should be almost celebrated as a feat of movie making. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. I thought it was interesting because I think it's my favorite Marvel movie, mm. but it's also a movie that could not exist without all the other Marvel movies. Yes. Whereas like most of the other movies could be standalones, standalone. yeah. but this one, every movie, every Marvel movie that you watch enriches your experience of watching this movie. Yeah. And uh, like I said, I have a coworker, we can talk about this a bit later, who she's only seen Infinity War and Endgame. Oh, did she like it? <laughs> she liked both of them, yeah. Nice. And she liked Infinity War more, but I think it's because she didn't fully appreciate the history of Endgame, Endgame. and what they were exploring. That's fair. Yeah. I went and saw Endgame alone mm -hmm. on opening night yeah. in the front row. <laughs> so I need to see it again. Sure. Because I did go to a 3D showing, and oh. I was on the end of the first oh, row. Oh, no. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So my neck really hurt by the end of the day, yeah. and the next day it still hurt. But I also think that I saw a kind of darker movie than mm. it was intended to be, so I'd like to go see it again so I can see it in its full color sure. range. But it didn't decrease my appreciation of the film. Sure. And I had a like near perfect, I wish I was closer to the screen, but I was in a VIP. Oh, don't worry. I was close <laughs> enough for yeah, both yeah. of us. <laughs> you split the difference. Yeah, uh, I was a little higher than I usually like to be, but it was still, it was great. Uh, straight yeah. on 2D show. <laughs> As a random side note, yeah. I went alone. Mm. There was a lot of emotional parts in this movie. Yep. <laughs> I cried several times, and I was sitting beside this, like, 17-year-old guy who was <laughs> also there by himself, and I just don't think he knew what to do because this <laughs> crazy 30-year-old woman was, like, sobbing beside him. <laughs> nice. Good time. It was fun, though, because the theater erupted into cheers. Mm throughout the whole movie. So it was like a really fun experience for me sure. that way. I think, it, well, because I was talking about this with my coworker, I'm not a fan of clapping in movies. Oh, uh, you know what? In most movies, I wouldn't be either, yeah. but I'm okay with it in any No, and, and I, I think I had a good crowd because everybody was like, everyone was laughing at the jokes or, you know, there'd be some good moments, but yeah. uh, everyone kept it chill. I didn't hear any sobbing over it, but you could tell everyone was kind of getting choked up. Yeah, not like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the two people in front of me, the, there were two uh, two women in front of me, and they were definitely like, oh. By the time that Stan Lee's cameo came, I just had, like, wet cheeks. Yes. <laughs> also, um, on a side note, 
when you see Loki on the screen. Mm. In a flashback, we'll get to spoilers in a second. <laughs> kind of flash, whatever. Yeah. Um, the the whole theater went nuts. Really? Hey? Oh. Like everybody was waiting for that. Nice. Well, before we get totally more into it, mm-hmm. uh, I was looking up, and the budget reportedly, so this is not even confirmed, is they say it was three hundred fifty-six million dollars, mm-hmm. which was less than in Infinity War, which makes sense because they shot them back to back, and the technology they don't have to spend as much on it because, of course, you. You yeah. created Thanos the first time. So Side note. Well, have you got to that? That's fine. We're talking about things being filmed back to back, and it's okay. relevant to that point. Okay. Um, Captain Marvel was filmed yes. after Endgame. Right. So Brie Larson's introduction to her character mm. was after her character was supposed to be developed. Yeah. But I think it affected her performance in Captain Marvel. But that's neither here nor Okay, no, yeah. I, I, next point. My yeah. next point was, of course, the box office numbers. Uh, oh, they made all the money. If you've read or heard <laughs> anything about this, we're recording this just after the, the weekend it opened, and it basically smashed three, over $350 million North America, and has already made $1.2 billion worldwide. It just, it made like a country's GPD, yeah. right? And it will, GDP. G, what? GDP. Gross G- domestic product. Yes. Yes. But it's it's not because... Say it so fast, I couldn't understand. Sorry. That the, <laughs> because of the runtime, they can't even show it as many times in a day. Yeah. And yet it just destroyed every record possible. When I went <laughs> on opening night, so the Thursday... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that always, the, the dragged out. It's five days now, <laughs> the opening weekend. Whatever. There <laughs> yeah. were no seats. Oh, I believe it, yeah. Like, zero seats. I've never been in a completely full theater before. Because hmm. I stood up before it started and I looked around. Just to see, yeah. Just to see. Because usually, like, oh, I bought a ticket, but my dog died or whatever. I can't yeah. go to the movie, whatever. It's so sad. No seats. It was the same like mine. Yeah I, yeah, I went to a VIP showing, like I said, and I don't think I've ever been to a full VIP showing at the no, theater. No, I've been to an empty VIP show. Me too. <laughs> and it was full on packed, which, yeah, it's reflected in the numbers. It has just crushed everything. I want to see it again. <laughs> I want to see it again. <laughs> so I assume it's going to make bank. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just from us going to watch it over and over again. Maybe not, because I use points. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. They're my points. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Uh, so I don't know. Where did you, what did you, what, how did you want to do our discussion here? All right. From this moment on. Okay, yeah. Spoilers. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair? I just got a couple like meta points almost in a sense. It didn't feel like three hours to me. Oh, no. Me neither. I didn't pee in the whole thing. Yeah, that's rare for you for sure. I know. Um, <laughs> I pee in like the shortest movie. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's also because the structure was so well executed in that it's basically like three movies. And so it's like... It, not it's like oh when that kind of it's like a whole other story starts and then it's just like you know drags you back oh for sure and uh like i was saying earlier that infinity war wasn't a cluster screw this somehow again came out not a cluster screw (laughs) like it all made sense for the most part and like every character got to shine and it was just it was amazing (laughs) hellboy was a fraction of the time but it was a much (laughs) bigger cluster fact yes (laughs) and uh and again just from an a personal thing because as long time listeners aka whoever's joining us now thanks hi but dad <laughs> I don't like trailers I don't like spoilers I don't watch anything yeah. so I had no idea what the heck the story was even gonna be for this movie I watched the trailers and I thought it was gonna be something and it wasn't that at all they did a very good job I thought of going a different direction mm. than the expectations would well and I heard that the marketing a lot of people were saying was it was like deleted scenes or um, like from other Marvel movies and also uh. like scenes uh, the trailers specifically were only taken from the first like 10 minutes uh, so I don't yeah. know so exactly Anyways, they did a good job yeah they did because here's the big spoiler unexpectedly they kill Thanos in like the first 15 minutes and yeah. I was like wait what <laughs> before we get into the plot okay um I was going to say that one of the critiques that I heard Mm. was that the last hour was very fan servicey. And I just wanted to address that I agree, but as a fan, I wanted to be serviced. (laughs) I did not mind. No, I I was going to say, I I was going to get to it when we get to that point. I, I assume you're talking about the time heist part. Or, like, when's the last hour? <laughs> like, the, the... Um... When they're fighting Thanos at the end. That's not an hour long. 
I don't care. Okay. The fight, the fight with Thanos at the end, that didn't feel fan servicey to me. Oh, it totally was. What oh, are you was talking it? about? Okay, I just thought it was what? just like... What are you talking about? It was a cool battle and every character got to do something cool. Captain America <laughs> with the hammer. Sure. That's not fan servicey. Maybe. I don't know if that is or not. Anyway. I, I actually honestly thought that it was... Even though I didn't know how it was going to work out, I thought it was going to be Vision. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised that Vision didn't make another... Yeah, I guess because he died before the snap and everything, so... Oh, maybe. Yeah. I honestly thought, well, as soon as the hammer moving, I was like, I don't know how this is going to work, but Vision's going to just smash some shit. And then I was like, oh, it's Captain America. And I was like, very cool. <laughs> oh, I just, I thought that um, Paul Bettany didn't want to do another Marvel movie. That was my takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, sure. he's so busy doing solo right now. I guess so. And uh, Night's Tale 2. Just right. kidding. <laughs> I don't think he did. But yeah, yeah um, that was very unexpected when they just kill Thanos and then it just cuts. And I was like, oh, what's going to... And then it was like five years later, post-apocalypse. And I was like, Okay, Whoa. hang on. Before we even <laughs> well, get to that... What are we even talking about then? <laughs> Before we get to that... Okay. It opens with Hawkeye losing his family? Yeah, that was great. The minute one? I'm like... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, also, I wasn't expecting them to kill Thanos in the first... 20 minutes of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, the Hawkeye stuff was... As soon as he was on screen, I was like, oh, no. Oh, fine. You want me to feel my feelings? Yeah. <laughs> but it was very tastefully done. Oh, I thought it was great. Yeah. And I cried. Yeah. And I was and like, very... oh, that's what the rest of the movie is going to be. Me crying. Yeah. Well, and then it just sets you up for, yeah, when, like, suddenly they cut to that five years later, and it's just like, everything's messed up. <laughs> and I was yeah. just like, oh, wow, that was... It was just very unexpected. It was great. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, now you can continue on with your point. <laughs> well, I was just, that was my point, was that I just didn't expect him to cut to five years later post-apocalypse. <laughs> True. Yeah. yeah, me neither. Um, on a sad note, Okay. I did think it was interesting that a large portion of the plot of Endgame mm. depended on people watching the end credit scene of Ant-Man vs. the Wasp. Kinda. I don't, I mean... Because if you didn't know he was in a time in the time, quantum or in the quantum realm realm for five years, then well, you just assume you'd be an Ant Man somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But like, if you'd skipped that movie, yeah, I guess you would have seen the first one. Yeah, you know what I mean. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, like it would have just been kind of weird. But he kind of, you know, he just shows up. I liked it's it fun. though because they're yeah, like, no, we know great. our fans. They watch the end credits. Exactly. I think, and I think people again going into this movie, they know everyone's knows. Everyone's seen it. Everyone's ready. Yeah. Like, every, bring it yeah. On. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, like I said, it was unexpected to just have to see these characters trying to deal with the post-apocalypse. Captain America, like a support group. Yeah. Natasha just breaking down, trying to keep things together. Yeah, <laughs> you know, barely like, holding on. Yeah, barely holding on and everything. And then the reports of uh, Clint gone, gone rogue, essentially. Because I like her and Hawkeye because it's like, she's she turned towards the, you know, trying to be the noble goals, and he went full on to the dark side, essentially, and he's just like, well, I'm taking everybody out. <laughs> kind of, but he was only taking out the bad guys. Sure. Which is, I'm like, I, that's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing left to live for, might as well kill assholes. Sure, we know that, I assume. They... He was so cool in it, too. Yeah, sure, yeah, he was great. He's always, I've always liked him in the previous Avengers movies as well. I felt that he came into his own after the second Avengers movie. Yeah. The first one, they didn't really utilize his character that well. Sure. But, uh, yeah, the second one, he was great, and he's been mm. great since then. Yeah, absolutely. When Ant-Man shows up, and so this was, this was again, I was like, I was like, are they going to do a time travel plot? I, like, I totally didn't expect <laughs> that, of course. Me neither. <laughs> because he was in there, and I was like, what is he talking? And I was like, oh, no, what? And then, again, I just, because... It, Props to these guys. I thought it was going to go horribly wrong. Yeah. And then, of course, they cut to Tony Stark, and they need his help. He's he's got a family (laughs) now. He's got a family now. So he comes back, because in Infinity War, he's kind of left out in space after... They lose on Titan. Yeah. 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 Peter dies. Peter dies. It's just him and Nebula. Just him and Nebula. They kind of have a cute friendship. Yeah. Nebula had a much bigger role in this than I thought. Loved it. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Yeah. Um... And then, so he comes back, he's got some pretty bad PTSD, he yeah. kicks off the arc reactor, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, well, it's the nano arc reactor, whatever, whatever. The combo he, thing that he's developed. He's like, I'm no longer Iron Man, yeah. fuck you guys. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and 
and goes and lives in the woods with Pepper, no. and he has a daughter. Yes. And they have to go to him because he's the only smart guy on the smart planet. Smart guy. <laughs> And I kind of go to the Hulk, but uh, uh, oh, there's so much that happens in this movie. And again, yeah, the Hulk stuff, I didn't realize, I didn't see that coming, that Ben I, and the Hulk are one person now. Because yeah. that's in the comics. There are other versions of the Hulk that sometimes are smart, sometimes are, you know, yeah. stupider. And then this is just like, it's Ben and the Hulk. <laughs> yeah, so Tony turns him down. They go to the Hulk. Yeah. And he's like, the, I don't know, it was the first movie I really liked the Hulk. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, when, he, when like, people come up for his picture and he's all, like, friendly. Yeah, and, and he's all just like, Hulk out! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but then I just thought it was so classic that Tony, Tony Stark just figures, figures it, it out. Figures it time travel. <laughs> Although I was also, when he was like, invert the Mobius strip, and I was like, Mobius strips are already inverted? That's the point of a Mobius strip? And I was like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, man. You take this science and you go somewhere else. <laughs> what do you think of this? <laughs> but I was just like, classic, like, one minute of like, yeah, maybe, and then, oh, bam, it's like an Iron Man 3, they do the same thing, so. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I was fine with it. He's a like, smart guy. He's a smart guy. <laughs> But then, like, he, he actually has a conflicting moment with Pepper about it, where he's like, I should just bury it. Yeah. Forget I figured out time Forget travel. It. Yeah, just live our life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just let things go, but... But she kind of tells him not to. Well, she just basically says, yeah, I, I like the line, it's like, you could go to sleep, but could you ever rest? <laughs> yeah, that's good. And because Thanos also talks to him in Infinity War about, like, you know, you're not the only one with cursed with knowledge kind of a thing. Because, yeah. you know, Tony figures it out, right? So... It was, it, there was so much great in the movie. <laughs> yeah, course. he's just got all that, that Spider-Man dope. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah, and then you see the picture of his dad, and or a picture of Peter with him. And, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. The call to action is on. <laughs> Iron Dad and Spider-Son. <laughs> yeah. And then you get a little great montage where they try to do time travel without him. Side note, mm. I don't know this is, if this is true, but on Instagram there's a bunch of pictures of Tony Stark and it says that Robert Downey Jr. was the only one who got the full script. No, oh, it's possible. Yeah, who knows though? It's yeah. also the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is definitely possible. I heard in an interview Br- Brie Larson was saying that she got like redacted scripts that only mm. had her lines in them. I can believe it, yeah. Oh, totally, right? Yeah. You know the best way to keep them from spoiling stuff? Don't let them see a script. Don't tell anybody anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, and then so they come up with, I, of course, the time heist is the idea, and then they do. There's some great dialogue about time travel stuff and everything. And oh yeah, callbacks to movies. <laughs> callbacks to movies and everything. And, and then they great. go get Thor. And then they go get Thor. <laughs> and Thor, I guess they've taken over a village in Iceland or something. Iceland, Norway type area. Yeah, yeah, new Asgard. Yeah. And Thor has a beer gut and he's <laughs> just so depressed because he's the one who killed Thanos, but yeah. he didn't actually like achieve anything by doing it, I guess. He didn't, yeah, they didn't save anybody. But he's his brother's still dead. <laughs> his brother's still dead yeah. and he's super depressed. And uh, I'm still super hot though, even with his beer gut. But I love it. I thought it was so great. <laughs> it was definitely unexpected. <laughs> exactly, which is what I've been saying the entire time. <laughs> totally, and he has that physique basically mm. the rest of the movie. Yes, <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. And he's still super hot because he's from Chris Hemsworth. Well, and and like Zay, uh, that was one of the things like I was saying. His arms was... are still super messy. Yeah, it, it was just it was neat to see all these characters sort of broken by their loss. And, yeah, and trying to live their life. And trying to live a life. And then, as well, throughout the entire movie, uh, as I'm sure we'll discuss in later in, like, fight scenes, it shows that how they've lost a step because yeah. they haven't been superheroes as anymore, right? Like, <laughs> so it was, again, so well executed. Yeah, I was, that the Thor stuff was just ridiculous. So good. <laughs> Him and Meek and... Yeah. <laughs> Crunk or whatever. <laughs> Just playing, you know. Playing Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. I also, this is around the same time with the movie, but I don't remember if it was before or after that. Mm. But the scene where um, Rocket and Nebula land. Yeah. And um, Ant Man's sitting out there with his taco and yeah. gets blown away, and then the Hulk brings him two tacos. Yeah. <laughs> about cried at that part too. I think it was after that because that's when they yeah. were assembling everybody but uh, yeah and the Nebula is even like she's like he's like careful Rose there's an idiot in the thing in the, in the, in the walkway or whatever <laughs> oh boy yeah I guess speaking of uh, Nebula and she 
is awesome. Is awesome. And I've always liked her a lot in the Guardians of the Galaxies. And of course, I really like Karen. Mm-hmm. And I think she's really good in the role. And yeah, she has a ton to do this movie. Which yeah. Is great. Wasn't expecting that. Mm-hmm. No. She's in it more than some of the like OG Avengers are in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I guess it's just because she's, uh, she's never had her own film, right? So she, I'd watch it. Sure, I'd watch it. <laughs> I'm going to put a pin in this for later. Okay. Okay. Let's get to the time heist. Bam! Time heist. So there's six of them, or nine or something. I think there's nine. Twenty. Yeah. Four? I actually literally don't even know how many of them there are. I know there's six Infinity Stones because they say that. Oh, so there's <laughs> twelve because don't they pair up? No, because no, somebody has three and then there's one missing from, like you can see in the circle, someone's missing from the dotted line, or the spots. Anyways. Okay, so Clint and Natasha are one team. They're going for the soul stone. They're going for the soul stone. Because they've figured out through... Their own adventure. Friendship. Well, they, like, they just basically go through their own history and they're like, where are the time? Where are the stones? Yeah, and what year can we find them and where yes. are they? Okay. we're going to time travel. Because so we're going to time <laughs> space travel. Yeah. Yeah, that was also, I was like, uh, time like, and I'm, space. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so Clint and Natasha go after the soul stone. Yeah. Nebula and War Machine go after... The Power Stone. The Power Stone, right. Um, Rocket and Thor go after the Reality Stone. Right. Which is the Aether inside Natalie Portman. Hulk goes after the Time Stone. Yeah, they go to New York for that. Right. Yeah, because he goes and talks to Tilda Swinton. Yeah. And then... Oh, uh, the Power Stone... Well, the Mind Stone is in the Scepter that Captain America and Tony Stark are going to go for. And Ant-Man. And Ant-Man. And uh, that Tesseract as well, which also has the power... It has the power Wait, what was it? it how, what was the Tesseract Stone? I think that was the power one. I, would, I don't know. The purple one is in the place in Xandar. Not Xandar. But that's the one that Nebula and War Machine are going for. Yeah. It's the purple one. It's the purple one. The red one is the one that Thor and Rocket goes for. Yeah. The blue one... The blue one's in the Tesseract. Is in the Tesseract. And which one's in the... The Mind Stone's in the Scepter. In the set. Okay, cool. So we got it. Yeah. All figured out. Maybe. Ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, but I, I, sorry. I think we should go through this stone for okay, sure. stone. Yeah, Does yeah. that make sense? Sure. Okay. Before we do, it was... So you know, well done. So well done. And just, of course, this is where, like, Devin, you were saying how if you know these missed movies and these histories, they go to those moments and you get to see, like, you know, behind the scenes and et cetera, yeah. or just how certain things play out. It's amazing. And it's... This was... I thought... Like, I, I thought this is what you were meaning was this, fan, this is fan service, but I thought it was just great story and just well executed oh. that I didn't even think that I was like being pandered to in a sense. No, no, I meant the last fight. <laughs> okay, sorry, yeah. 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 The big fight. Yeah, like this didn't feel like dangling keys in front of me being like, look how this is. And I was like, no, I was like, yeah. Like, I'm like, no, I'm interested in it. No, this is payoff for watching movies. <laughs> exactly. Okay, where do you want to start? Clinton Natasha. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You don't need your heart, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they go for the soul stone, which is shown, of course, in the previous film that... You have to sacrifice the thing you love most. Yes. <laughs> so unlike Thanos and Gamora, yeah. where he just pushes her off the ledge, yeah. they fight yeah. to see who gets sacrificed. Basically. Well, and it's just so, again, well executed because they're both like talking and then, you know, <laughs> Clinton's like... I don't think we're talking about the same person here. Yeah. He's clearly talking about sacrificing himself because of all the dark things he's done in, in the last two five years. And, and he's like, she wants to sacrifice herself because he has a family to go back family. to, and yeah. she's just been trying to stop Thanos. That's been the only reason she's been alive, basically. Yeah. And she has some great dialogue about how the Avengers rose her up from the ashes and from the darkness and everything. And I was like, no, what are you doing, movie? <laughs> I thought when they both went over the edge... Mm. Because there's a part where they both go over the edge, but she has a grappling hook. Grappling hook. Yeah. I thought that, like, I'm like, they're not going to kill off either of these characters. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, clearly the Red Skull is going to be like, hey, listen, you're both cool. (laughs) Give me the stone. (laughs) And then Black Widow, Scarlet, let's go. Let's go. And uh, dies. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. And this was like halfway through the movie. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And again, just shows uh, the stakes are raised, the stakes are high in this. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so uh, that's our first Avenger God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then she get, they get, Clint gets the stone. He gets the stone. Next stone. Yeah. Who do you want to go for next? Rocket and Thor? Sure. That's fun stuff. 
Rocket and Thor. <laughs> They're in Asgard. They go back to Thor 2. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie Portman is in his place because mm-hmm. she got a stone inside of her. Yeah. And it's right before Thor's mom dies. Yeah. And who does Thor run into in his depressed Big Lebowski <laughs> state? Mom! His mother. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it, it, a great interaction in, in Rocket where he's like, yeah. pull yourself together, man. You can do this. And he like slaps him around. He's like, yeah, yeah, I can do it. And then Rocket turns around and then Thor just is like, nope. And just yeah, like, just nope <laughs> right out. Yeah. It's like, I can't do this. <laughs> and then so Thor and his mom get like you know, get the moment. Yeah. Get the moment. You yeah. cry again. Because <laughs> he basically gets to say goodbye to her. Mm-hmm. And uh, he wants to warn her and she won't let him. Mm-hmm. She can tell she's from the future because she's a witch. Yeah. Yeah, I did like that. She's <laughs> like, uh, I'm, I'm a witch. I'm a witch. <laughs> like, you can't hide things from me. <laughs> oh, so you've gained like 50 pounds. Yeah. Get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Rocket goes and gets a stone. Mm-hmm. Then they have to leave right before he knows his mom's gonna die. Yeah. And then he gets Molnir as well from there. Oh, yes, I forgot. Takes a hammer. <laughs> Does that mean that his past self would. No, because Captain America brings it back. Ah, uh, yes. At the end, yeah. It's all. Oh, I thought he, oh, I thought he was just taking it because it was his t- new thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's that my makes new thing. way more sense. Yeah, he brings so. it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, who's next? Um. You Banner? Can. Banner, yeah. Uh, so I did love, of course, and I'm sure it got a big laugh when they first land in New York. It's during the Avengers first movie during the Tatari invasion. Oh my gosh, we didn't get a laugh. We got a huge fucking just everybody was like, yeah. Oh really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, no, because no, I would say the laugh came when then uh, he's like, oh, Hulk, if you want to smash something, you know, you might want to. And he's oh, like, yeah. oh, this is kind of gratuitous at this point. He just kind of like smashes the taxi and like throws <laughs> a motor bike. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> which was a great character moment. Oh yeah, where he's just like, <laughs> and he sees himself yeah. so and he's, he's like, so like, embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes um, to the Sanctum Sectorium and talks to Tilda Swinton, aka the Ancient One. Yeah, which and, and again was another like cool, cool. <laughs> I was like, this is. I was like, this is just amazing. <laughs> and then. Uh, He's trying to convince her to give her this, give him the stone. Yeah. She doesn't want to give it to him. She explains kind of how the 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 Infinity Stones create reality and how if she if they take the one of the stones out, it'll create a divergent path. And then he says the magic words, which I knew were coming, was Strange gave Thanos the stone. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, wait a second. <laughs> Cause she she has a line where she's like, he's supposed to be the best of us. Yeah. So she gives him the stone because she's like, he must have seen this. He must have a plan. Yeah. And just give, give it away. It. <laughs> so that was great. Uh, good interaction. And she she knocks his soul out, so it's just Bruce and the yeah. Hulk's unconscious. <laughs> yeah. It was really good, though. Yeah. I liked that. Again, another little kind of callback to... I was like, oh, are we going to get any other psychedelic moment? Yeah, I thought so as well. As soon as he he hits her... Yeah. And... I was like, oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to want to do mushrooms and Tai Chi again. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, pretty, not simple, but you know, there's some good character stuff there and gets, the, sure. gets the stone. Next stone. What do you want to do next? Well, we could do the New York and you get the two stones. Yeah, let's do that. Because I thought this was, this was great. Yeah, when, America's ass. Yeah, <laughs> America's ass. <laughs> but uh, the, the scepter, they, they do a, a recreation of the scene from uh, Captain America 2, uh, Winter Soldier. Where he oh, gets he in gets the elevator it. with them all, and they're all bad guys and everything. And but then he does a clever Captain America thing, gives yeah. him the Hail Hydra. <laughs> which Sorry, I thought you were talking about the first Avengers scene where they're mm. where they're like gonna take Loki away, right, right. but they're watching it from a different angle. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were talking about that, but yes, that scene I really appreciated and enjoyed that scene. With yeah. Me. And then I just thought. Um, this was this for me was one of my standout favorites of the time travel bit was when he fights himself. Yeah, it was great. It was super great, and again, it shows how he's lost a step because he's losing to his former self. I also liked that his former self was like Loki. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> he's like, I got Loki on four fourteen. He's like, I'm not Loki. <laughs> <laughs> and then my favorite part was when he knocks his younger self down and he gets up and he's like, I could do this all day. And he's like, Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 just throwing his own line at him. I just thought that was so great because <laughs> he just could see how it could be insufferable or just annoying. Because <laughs> that's always his line, right? In every movie, he always says it in a big fight. He's just like, Oh, does he? Yeah. He, 
Huh. Yeah. So it was, I thought I thought to me that was that was one of my standout favorite moments. Yeah. <laughs> and then what he does, use some trickery, beats some soul soul up. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Yeah. And gets the scepter. And gets the scepter. And then while that's going on. Tori and Ami. Or slightly before that, I guess. Sure, it's, it's almost Loki simultaneously. Disappears first, and that's why Captain America thinks that Captain America is Loki. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Okay. But, the, but the idea is Tony and Ant-Man are trying to get the Tesseract. Yes. Yeah. And they have an elaborate scheme. Which would have worked. <laughs> which would have worked, except that the Hulk came out and knocked them over. Yeah. The Hulk had to take the stairs because they couldn't use the elevator, which was hilarious. And he's just like, hate the stairs. And he's like smashing his way down. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the Tesseract flies out of the briefcase and Loki picks it up and disappears. Yeah, and just portals out. <laughs> Which I thought was great. Yes. But it was just pretty funny. Is, uh, their plan is that he gets Ant-Man to remove a piece that conducts oh, his heart. Yeah, and then so gives they, him like a cardiac arrest, yeah. basically. <laughs> He's like, are you sure this is going to kill you? He's like, no, it's fine. I'll just give me a mild like cardiac moment. <laughs> <laughs> And he's arguing with Robert Redford about the Tesseract cube yeah. and everything, which was great. Again, another callback to the secretary. So good, yeah. Of Shield. Yeah, so it flies away. They lose it to Loki. And so they have to go further back in time mm-hmm. to get it at a different point in time. And at this point as well, everyone only has enough pin particles to make the trip there and back. Right. So, so they also like, need... They also need pin particles pin. at the same time. Yeah. And so, they figure that they're going to be at this U.S. base in the 70s. Yeah. In New Jersey, which I believe is the same base, of course, that they go to in Captain America 2. Oh, yeah. Where Zola yeah. and stuff like that all... His computer computerized his brain. <laughs> <laughs> and then they send Ant-Man back to... Yeah, back to the future with the scepter. Yeah. And they're like, we're going for the Tesseract. Yes. And pin particles. And pin particles. Yeah. And yeah, this this whole sequence again was good. so well executed. Yeah. <laughs> so Tony runs into his dad. Yeah. And he's going after the test rack, and they have a nice moment. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's when you get the Stanley last cameo. Mm. He's not going to be in any other movies. He drives by at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like peace and love or something. Yeah, yeah. And he's all like and then yelling I cried. <laughs> Because I apparently only have feelings when it comes to Marvel. <laughs> yeah, when you texted me about that, how you got emotional, because I got emotional. Yeah. And I was like, you're a pretty cold, unfeeling robot about certain <laughs> stuff, and you make fun of me. But mostly. <laughs> for being a robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it takes comes to know it. Yeah, exactly. But apparently I have feelings when it comes to um, yeah. Marvel movies. Well, and, and again, it's... Fucking leak. <laughs> face. So well executed. Tony with his dad, they have a nice moment, some chats and stuff like that and uh, Cap gets the Pym stuff gets the Pym stuff runs and sees his love yeah runs into Peggy Carter doesn't run into her sorry he's in her office he watches her creepily yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's hiding from the authorities he stalks her yeah <laughs> and uh, so they get it and they leave yeah uh-huh. so that leaves the last one which mm. is Nebula and War Machine. Yeah, right. And this is where shit gets intense. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, and of course they do a great uh, callback to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One. With yeah. Chris Pratt dancing, and then they show their view of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just him. The music. Yeah, can't he's do the music. Singing. Yeah, he's singing along terribly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, it was. That was really. Oh, well, speaking skinny. of Chris Pratt, he uh, leaked footage of behind the scenes. He wasn't supposed to record anything. But oh, really? He saved oh. it till after it came out. Oh, that's fine. And it was just, uh, it was just, like, all of them, mm. but, like, on a set. Yeah. But some of, some of them were in makeup and some of them were in normal clothes. They were just nice. all, like, hanging around. <laughs> it was really cute. Cool. Okay, back to the movie. And then they knock him out. <laughs> they knock him out. They go for the stone. Yeah, and then Nebula just reaches through... Because she's got a robot arm and just grabs the, the stone. Right, yeah. And then this is where she has that great line because I think War, uh, War Machine says something. He's like, oh, who else is looking for her? And she's like, people like me. And then I was like, oh, that was kind of dark. And I was yeah. like, is she about to like double cross them all? But no, we flash to current time Thanos, Gamora, and, and Nebula. 2013 them. 14? 13? I think it was 13. Okay. But not current time as in 2019. Yeah, no, I meant, I meant where they were at that 2013 time. 2013 Thanos. Right. And... Nebula and Gamora. Yeah. And are just exterminating people. <laughs> yeah, they're killing people. And yeah. then Nebula glitches out yeah. and shows them... 
War Machine and his dialogue. Yeah. In the now. Yes. In the future. In the present. <laughs> well, just at that moment saying how, oh, like, other people are looking for these Infinity Stones. Yes. And then they're like, what's this? And then she falls over just as they're going to time travel out and Don Cheadle's gone and it's just yeah. her. And it's just her. Passed out. Mm-hmm. And she gets captured. Captured. And then tortured a little bit and then, like, Nebula takes her headpiece because it's a different color or yeah. something? Is that what it was? Yeah. I couldn't see. Right. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> no, yeah. Because she's changed a couple of her head, her colorization pieces. From, from like, silver from, and gold, right? Or, yeah, from, like, a bluish to, like, a gold or a bronze. Yeah. And then, so she takes them to disguise herself. And then she goes back to the future present. Yeah. Yeah. Goes to 2019. Yeah, so yeah. that she can be bad. Mm-hmm. Bad girl. <laughs> Here was one of my questions. Yes. Well, I guess it's coming up. Was how does Thanos' ship get there? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the power of Marvel. Yeah, because he doesn't have oh, pin no. particles. Okay, here's how he does it. Okay. Ready for this? Okay. Tony and Captain America decided to bring back all the pin particles yeah. for your emergency. Just in case this didn't work so that they could go back and try again. Sure. So they brought back all of them, which is enough to bring a ship. Yeah, but Thanos doesn't have them. <laughs> yeah, she teleports. <laughs> she time travels again in a scene we don't see. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, no. He's oh, here's how they do it. Okay. So because it's not just me, right? Like, uh, uh, like because yeah, they all get I didn't back. think of that till you mentioned it, but I've got okay. a solution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so Thanos analyzes. Nebula's pin particles. And then recreates and them. And he's a smart guy, so he just remakes them. There you go. There you go. In fact, that probably happened. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> but I don't think they showed us that. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's assumed. Yeah, it's okay. implied. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. It's fine. It's fine. Because they get back, they put the Infinity Gems into a nano made Iron Man esque gauntlet. And then they get the Hulky Hulk. And Banner puts it on to snap everybody back into existence. And it does not work. It does work. It does work. Yeah. But that's right. It does work. It yeah. does work because and and this, is your, this is kind of like where like when that phone starts ringing and I was like, oh man. <laughs> You're like, I'm ready to cry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Cause, and then Ant-Man's like looking at the birds. Yeah, and he's all like, hey guys, I think it worked. <laughs> and then everything. Explodes. Yeah, and then Thanos unleashes hell. <laughs> yeah. So Thanos and his ship... Mm-hmm. Time travel through... Time travel through... To current day. Time machine. Yeah. To current day. And um, it explodes everything. <laughs> they can't... They don't know where the gauntlet's gone. It yeah. flew off. Couldn't find it, so it's fine. Um, and everybody's hurt. Mm-hmm. And then Thanos is like to Nebula. He's like, "Go get me that gauntlet." And then he sits down because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a good general, and he's using his troops wisely. Yeah, in Infinity War, we're like, "Duh, I can see where he's coming from." And then in Endgame, we're like, "What a dick." Yeah. No, and that was one of my sort of qualms that I was I was surprised they brought Thanos back to, or yeah back to the future to the future and because then it wasn't the same Thanos almost that we like learned and and like came to sort of understand it was like this guy's still kind of a jerk ass <laughs> yeah which makes him easy to kill yeah easier yeah. to easy, kill well yeah because then he gets all like his ruffled feathers in a ruffle and mm-hmm. he was like I'm gonna enjoy killing you little pricks yeah because yeah Captain America Thor and Iron Man step out the core trio, and they're like, we're gonna take this guy on. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Thor has a great moment where he gets all lightning Yeah. <laughs> but I was gonna say, this Thanos hasn't lost Gamora yet. That's true. So maybe that's why he's an asshole. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't. He hasn't sacrificed anything yet. Yeah. Anyway. And he hasn't suffered as many defeats, I don't think, yet either, because this is before Guardians of the Galaxy, where Ronan loses... And right. uh, so, yeah, like he hasn't had to go through as many trials, almost in a sense. Yeah. Because uh, it's post Avengers 1 where he, you know, his Loki loses, but. But pre Avengers. Yeah. Two. Anyway. There's been no Age of Ultron. That's right. Okay, so. So, yeah, they, they step up to fight him. 
Wait, did Age of Ultron have anything to do with Thanos? Oh, no, Not really, but Vision. Yeah, Vision with the Soul Stone and everything. <laughs> Dolly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the Mind Stone. They set up, they get their asses handed to them. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> like, the, the, the fights, again, like, they are impressive and they're you know there's a lot of digital but like they're still yes. no no that's what i was say they're still good like yeah. they're not like i don't like watching them fights you know because there are some digital battles in some superhero films that you're like i don't even I care about any of this yeah. the, but this i'm like glued to the screen and all the laser bouncing effects and every hit and you're like captain america trying to block the blade and it's just smash and you're like oh jeez buddy <laughs> Yeah. And Thor trying to just accident okay. Thor almost getting killed by his own axe. Oh, man. <laughs> so Captain America uses Thor's hammer. Yeah. Well, punch, and it was really cool. I think that was later. No. Because um, Thor is getting the smack down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and right. then Captain America summons the hammer. Because I was like, oh, the hammer is moving. Thor is summoning his hammer. But yeah. No. It was Captain America because he... Is worthy. Is worthy. And I don't know if I said, did I say this off air or on air? I thought it was going to go to Vision. Yeah. Even though I didn't know how that it was going to work. Yeah. It, I was like, I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm cool with it. Bring bring Vision back. <laughs> no, no, Vision dead. But it was Captain America. Yeah. And then... And then this was... And then there... The it, reveal. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like he's almost going to die. Captain America's been smashed up. His shield's all smashed up. Yeah. He's on the ground. He is sad. Yeah. And he still stands up because he's going to fight Thanos. And then you Thanos is like, day. I have 15,000 armies. Yeah. And then... And then it happens. You hear, on your left, and then the rings start opening. <laughs> yeah. When that happened, I, like, full-on was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> I think that's why people thought it was fan service Right. I didn't think that was fan service I thought that was just a great Sweet. plot move that it was just like, this is this is the fight we wanted in Civil War that we didn't get. Yeah. And so, now it's like, <laughs> here's all these characters. Here's Everyone an army. who died is back. Falcon's yeah. back. The Black it's Panther... Bad. Crew is there, obviously. Benedict Cumberbatch is back because he's bringing everyone through their little circles. Yeah, their travel rings. Yeah. Peter Parker, of course. Peter Parker. Peter Star Parker Lord. meets up with um, Stark. Stark, and they have a moment. Yeah. They hug, and then Peter Parker's like, "This is nice." This is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. So good. And then all out war. <laughs> then all out war. Yeah. And then they look like they're losing. No, wait. What happens? What happens is Scarlet Witch is trying to help them with something, and she's fighting Thanos. And yeah, she, she full on takes on Thanos on her own. She's like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she's great. winning. Yeah, and then he says, "Just rain down yeah. the fire." Yeah, he's just like, "Just shoot everything." <laughs> and then you get another moment where you're like, "Get all over for them." Yeah. And then Captain Marvel shows up and punches through another spaceship, which I could watch her do that forever. I I liked it, but I was also like, I just saw her do that. A month ago. Yeah, I get it, but I think it's her thing, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> if she punches through a spaceship in every movie she's mm-hmm. in... See, I was okay with that, but then I didn't, like... Because basically they're like, okay, we're going to do a thing, and we need uh, Ant-Man's uh, quantum tunnel. And then, you know, there's a bunch of chaos, and then she gets the gauntlet, and then they're like, bring it to the thing. And Peter's like, oh, how are you going to get through that? And I was like, she just tries to punch through a spaceship. A wall of flesh is not going to stop her. She has the power of a god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was kind of like, that was a weird moment because then all the all the, the heroines are like, she's got help and then there's a cool moment and yeah. they all fight. And you know what? I don't care. It's still good. I was totally fine with it just how well executed and everything it was. I just thought the line delivery part was a little clunky that I was like... Yeah, I don't care. I, was, <laughs> I wanted to see all the girls and all the Marvel movies yeah. come together. They kick some ass. Fight yeah. everybody but Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> But we had uh, Valkyrie on her Pegasus just being awesome, and Mm -hmm. we had Pepper Potts in her iron suit. Which was uh, great because in the beginning, Tony is talking with his daughter about he's building an iron suit for her, and he's like, ah, mom never wears anything I need for her anyway. (laughs) (laughs) And then she shows up, and that was. That was a big note I had here was how in the entire chaos of the fight, and this is again a hallmark of the Russos and the Marvel movies, is they're always there's always some character moment of character doing something cool. Yeah. Either together or on their own. You've talked about this previously as well, like where you know, like they the, the pass the hammer and it bounces oh, off the shield yeah, yeah, and yeah. hits something. You know, there's always no, some moments. They do really well group choreographed 
fight yeah. that lets you see everybody working together, yes. and I really appreciate that. And this movie had that in spades yes, in this giant did. fight. <laughs> it was a big giant fight. Yeah. It was so cool. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, because like Tony and Pepper working together was a great moment, and then mm-hmm. again, and there's Spider Man, and it, it just everybody. And all the girls all working together. Girls there. working together in a cool moment, and yeah. like I said, just Scarlet Witch taking out Thanos on her own was kick ass. I know, I could watch an entire movie yeah. that. She too. still has rage over the death of Vision because. Okay. Here was the thing, is everybody comes back, and even though it's been a five-year gap, it's literally the moment they all died. Yeah. That's one thing I was unsure how they were going to handle it, and it mm-hmm. was just like... Perfect. Per, like, it was just like straight on, because Peter, that's what he says, he's like, Dr. Strange was there, and they said it's been five years, and we need to help you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, it didn't feel like five years to me. <laughs> it's like, hey, you were in a void of death, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, this was so there's unexpected. A, oh, sorry. There's a line where... Because in the previous movie, Mm. Doctor Strange says there's one possibility in like a billion or whatever. 14 billion or whatever. Yeah. 14 million or something. And there's one point where Iron Man is like, like, is this the one? He's like, I can't tell. I can't tell you because it would alter it. That's correct. Yeah. Which was... If we know it is. Which was great. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, no, I was going to get to when Captain Marvel fights Thanos. I thought that was intense and really well executed. Oh, yeah, because it looks like she gets knocked down, and then she just gets back up and starts punching him with a photon fist. Yeah, well, and then she is... She I has think her the better with short hair. Oh, yeah. I think she looks cooler. I actually kind of like her long hair when she's wearing her helmet. Oh, that's fair. Because then it kind of is flowing out in space and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. But she doesn't do that in this movie, unfortunately. No, I just like, Here was okay. my other point about the Captain Marvel thing. There was no line, there was a line earlier in the movie when she was like, I'm going to be out in space, you know, I might not be able to contact you for months. Mm-hmm. And Scarlett Johansson and Natasha was like, this channel's open, contact if you need. And then when they're ti- doing the time heist, there was never a line where someone was like, oh, we tried to get a hold of her, or at least let her know we might need her help, just in case. Because then how does she know to show up for the fight? Dr. Strange trying to go to her. Did he? Yeah, she had a line. She had a line. Thing. Did she? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I must have missed it. In the I'm like... 95% sure about this. I was going to say, I assumed Doctor Strange got her, Yeah. but I didn't know. <laughs> no, I f- yeah, I'm pretty sure he went and got her. Okay. I think she said something like some weird guy came and got me or something like that. I don't okay. know. Like no, fair enough. Yeah. Throwaway line or something. No, well, that, that's perfect then. Yeah. Cause that, and then she's fighting Thanos, like I was saying, looks like she's got the upper hand, and then he actually does a clever thing and just takes the power stone out of the gauntlet. Yeah. And then just like smashes her in the face and she goes flying. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, leads to his downfall. Yes. Oh no, no it's <laughs> Get ready, it's sad. Yeah, because this was the one thing. Yeah, that... so Tony Because gives... the gauntlet is Iron yeah. Man tech. Yeah. Yeah. So Tony gives a a look to Doctor Strange. Yeah. And Doctor Strange just holds up one finger. While he's controlling a tornado of water so it doesn't flood the battlefield. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. So he can't help essentially. So Iron Man knows that he's the one mm-hmm. that it has to be pawn sacrifice for the good of the world. And again, this goes all the way back and I knew that he had to sacrifice. I've been saying it for years. Well, and this is the thing is that it goes all the way back to the first one. He's meeting Captain Rogers and then he's just like, you know, you're not the kind of guy who would fall down on a grenade or like yeah. go over the wire. And he's like, I just cut the wire. And then he's just like, oh, you always got the answer. But his character development and everything, it leads right to this moment. And he gets all the gems on his arm. And then he says his line. And I was like, oh, that was amazing. What was his line? I am Iron Man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and he snaps his fingers. Yeah. And all of the uh, I, all of the Thanos guys start turning into Dusky Dust. Yeah. And then he dies. And then he dies <laughs> horribly. Well, he doesn't die horribly. I mean, he just kind of like... It looks painful. Yeah, he... he and then he just fucking works. Spider-Man's there taking up all his death time. I'm like, get yeah. out of the way, Pepper <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but Pepper knew. Pepper knew. The Pepper knew, yeah. yeah. And knew that Tony wouldn't give that up. And then she says, now you can rest. Yeah. We're all safe now. Now you can rest. Oh, no. And I cried. <laughs> yeah. It was definitely, uh, like I said, it was definitely some choking up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, it was just, like I said, it was just a culmination of everything and everybody being there and then Tony's character to make this sacrifice. And because... He knew it was just what he had to do. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, like I said, it was just, it was the change in the growth within him to, because 
everyone would expect Captain America to make that kind of a movie. Oh, for sure. Any day of the week. But you wouldn't expect egotistical Stark to do it, right? So it was awesome. <laughs> Just like you'd expect uh, Jon Snow to fight the Night King. Exactly. <laughs> We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Different um, um, and so then we kind of get... Um, but uh, like I said, I didn't think that that was going to happen. But it I was did. great that it did happen. I knew that... I knew that Not Iron Man was going to... Because it started with him, so that had to end with him. Sure. No, uh, like I said, I, I was, again, so well executed. Yeah, it was that. so good. Yeah. So then we kind of get the wrap-up, There's which funeral. is a funeral, and everybody is there. Yeah, they do a great... Shot, which um, I assume was half CG, but great anyway. <laughs> it didn't matter. Yeah. Sam Jackson shows up. Yeah. And then we kind of get a cute moment at the lake where Scarlet this, Witch. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. And uh, yeah, the Hulk. Wasn't the Hulk was saying that he with her? Because didn't he say um, he really tried to get Natasha back when he snapped his fingers? That was earlier. Oh. But she's talking to Clint at the end? Yeah. Scarlet Witch and Clint. Oh. No, no, yeah, because the part with the Hulk's later was after this. They talk anyway, and then <laughs> he, he says that uh, he's like, oh, I wish, you know, I could somehow let her know. And yeah. She's like... Oh, and she's like, they know. They both know. Yeah. <laughs> Referring, yeah. of course, to Vision. Yeah. Who's uh, dead as well. And then we get... Uh, and then you get to Bruce Banner that slash the Hulk, and you get Captain America and the Hawk. Not Hawkeye. <laughs> Falcon. Falcon. That's the guy. Yeah. And uh, he's he's like, okay, I'm gonna go bring this all the stones back. He's got time to travel gear on. Yeah. And I, as soon as I was like, I, he's like, I was like, he's not coming. He's back. not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. And of course, he's not. And they turn, and there's an old man by the lake. Yeah. And oh yeah, Bucky's there as well. And yeah. Actually, I was kind of shocked at this because uh, I I know that both Falcon and Bucky in the comics have taken up Captain America at certain points. Oh, yeah, I knew Falcon did. I didn't know Bucky did. Yeah, Bucky does as well at certain some points in the comic because he's also a super soldier enhanced man, whereas Falcon, yeah, not not to bash on him, but he's Just a guy. military guy yeah. with some cool tech and flying capabilities with his cool tech, but whatever. Gives him the shield and, you know, he's like... Oh, maybe that's why Bucky was like, you go ahead. You go ahead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. We'll see how it works out. No, no, no. I'll, when be, you I'll die, be ready I'll for be, you. Yeah. <laughs> No, but you know, good good moment there when he's like, oh yeah, you know, I'll try my best or whatever. He's like, yeah, so I know you'll do. You're you're the right man or whatever. Yeah, gives him the shield, passes it on, and mm-hmm. then we get a they because they see that he's married. Yeah. He's got a ring, and they ask if, if, if they can ask about it, and he says no. Nope. <laughs> and then we get him and Peggy dancing in the living room. Mm-hmm. Was it the end? It was the end. That was it. That was we it. got through the whole movie. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, it only took us three hours. Oh good. <laughs> it, I don't know. My final note is just it was such a great conclusion to it all, right? Like, oh yeah. It, like more than a decade in the making, all these movies, and it was just like even just thinking about it, I'm like, I can't, I can't believe it. It, it was so good. Oh, I totally agree. I'm like DC, this is how you do an extended <laughs> universe. <laughs> it's almost by accident, essentially, right? Because if you know the history of this, is they didn't own all their Marvel properties when they started making the movies. They started with Iron Man just to yep. see it made money, and then they were just like, you know, okay, we'll make this next one. They we'll just make this next made one. good movies along the whole thing, right? Yeah, great it, casting, good movies, yeah. and then it got better and better as they went. For sure, I totally <laughs> agree with that. I mean, there's some there's some missteps, like Iron Man 2, Age of Ultron had a little bit of bulb, you know, stuff that... You, you I liked see. Age of Ultron. Oh, I liked it, but there was just, like, there were some elements being crammed in there that kind of bloated the movie I felt like they rushed Marvel a bit, Captain Marvel. Like, yeah, I didn't think that was the strongest movie. I didn't think that Ant-Man and the Wasp was the strongest movie. I don't know. Again, I actually really enjoyed Ant Man and the Wasp, but it, it it was definitely you know they were focusing on that, you know what that end game. Bothered me about Ant Man and the Wasp. No, what bothered you? When Michelle Pfeiffer comes back out of the quantum realm, yeah, and she's just like, first of all, shouldn't she be younger if time hasn't really passed for her? But whatever. But she's just like, oh yeah, I forgive you, ghost. And then doesn't she, like, imbue her with life force or something? Basically, yeah, she, like, heals her quantum flux or whatever. Is it kind of dumb? Yeah. It was kind of... It's like, hey, I'm a magical witch. Yeah, well, I'm that, gonna wrap up the story. That was fine with her magical witch powers. Yeah, Because <laughs> then me. that was, like... Because that's why Ant-Man went back into the quantum tunnel. Because he was like, oh, I need to get the healing particles. So maybe she's also got a quantum-type sickness and needs to, like, recharge or something like that. Because she was like, oh, I'm changed. 
I, I watched it a long time ago. Okay, no, that's fair enough. Like I watched ago. it like a couple weeks ago <laughs> to prep for... I, I didn't like it as much. I also felt like with Ant-Man and the Wasp that they're like, hey, you know what was great? Ant-Man. And you know why it was great? Paul Rudd. Yeah. So just be the most Paul Rudd you can be. Be <laughs> like a caricature of Paul Rudd in sure. this movie. That uh, kind of bothered me. Fair enough. I didn't think it was as good. I preferred Ant-Man 1. The Fair enough. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Um, but I did have some stuff talking about. I just thought it would be interesting to talk a bit about the upcoming movies or the Phase Four because this is the end of Phase Three. Uh, technically. Yeah, I know. Technically, Spider-Man: Far From Home is coming. Is is the end of Phase Four? Yeah. No, Phase Three. Phase, phase Four. Three. Is, yeah. Yeah. Phase Four is the next phase. And I just thought this was interesting because they've made some announcements, and but everything is sort of in production. And also, I think what's interesting is because Disney is buying back Fox. Oh, right, so they'll have X-Men. They'll have X-Men, they'll have Fantastic Four, they'll have um, all those things except for Spider-Man, which they technically still... They, they have Spider-Man in a sense because they made a deal with Sony. Yeah. Of course, they're making the Spider-Man movies. It's kind of interesting to see how this is going to go because, if you don't... I'll just kind of go in. This is what they've announced. Okay. There's apparently a Black Widow movie, which, again, I've been a big, like, hey, they should have made this five years ago, but... I guess it'll be a prequel. Maybe a prequel or something. There's The Eternals... Oh, wait, this is the thing that I said put a pin in it. Okay. There's is it about? Guardian of the Galaxy 3. Volume 3, yeah. That's in my... It's in my... No. <laughs> um, I guess Gamora's still dead? Oh, yeah. Gamora that we, we knew and loved died, and now the past Gamora is in the present. Oh, they, they went... She went with them. I yeah, she that. came... Yeah, she came in, and then there's a scene where she meets Peter, kicks him in the nuts... And then her and Nebula Peter are there. Quill, not Peter, Peter Quill. Parker. Not Peter Parker. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Quill. Yeah. And then uh, her and Nebula are there, and, and Gamora's like, him? And she's like, Nebula's like, yeah, it's him. Yeah, no, I remember tree. that, but. And then they're not seen again, so I just assume they take off. No, because we get the scene at the end with Thor giving the kingdom to Valkyrie, Valkyrie. Yeah. and then he goes on the ship. Yeah. And I didn't see her on the ship. That's correct, because. No, that's what I mean. I think Nebula and Gamora t- took off. But wasn't Nebula there? No, I don't think so. I think she was. I think I think Gamora's dead. No, no, no. I don't think Gamora's dead because in that scene, you see Peter Quill's got a sting on him and it says scanning for Gamora. Oh. Like, it's got a picture and it's like, there's a galaxy map and it's... Just I thought Nebula, Nebula was with... Star-Lord, uh, with Drax. The aliens? I didn't think she was. Alien lady. Because she's with Gamora and, and she shoots it. her... Her young self, which was intense. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. good. <laughs> and I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> She's like, "My past self was an ass." <laughs> I think she was with the Guardians crew. No, oh, I, I, I'd have to, see, I'd have to see it again. No, Google it. You start talking about your list of movies. Well, you're saying volume Guardians Volume Three. Yeah, I know, but okay. that's well, that's anyway. what I was saying. Is she's part, but Gamora's dead, right? Yeah, but old uh, past Gamora's in the future or in the present now. But. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They don't put her back? No. But that could screw up the time and space continuum. Yeah, I think she's in from the past and the present. Uh, so anyway, the Eternals, like I was saying, which is like, I read the Neil Gaiman uh, Eternals that he oh. did, and it's weird. It's about like people that are eternal from the presence of the universe. It's kind of interesting. There's the Doctor Strange 2, of course, and Black Panther 2, and Shang-Chi. Um, which I don't know much about Shang-Chi. No. I believe it's a Eastern character, martial arts, magic, mystic kind of based. But that's all they have announced. But all of these have no confirmed dates of release. And they want Phase 3 to apparently, or Phase 4, sorry, to be from 2020 to 2024-ish, approximately, is what they say. Like I was saying, it's kind of interesting. Oh, apparently she's killed in, Gamora gets killed in Tony's dark snap. Maybe. No, that's what this internet told me. <laughs> we don't see that on screen. Yep, she does. She dead. No. She dead. She's not dead. Um, she's not dead. She dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just like I was saying, just because they're going to have all these properties back, maybe they might alter their plans and change up what they want to do mm. and try to maybe reintroduce something or... They have one with Maisie Williams in it coming out, don't they? Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, Children oh. of the Corn. <laughs> 
Something like that, yes. Yeah, no, yeah, it's called like the New Mutants or something like that, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and James McAvoy's in it. Oh, is it cool? I was like a Mr. Professor pers- X. Person, yeah, Person X. Yeah. I was gonna make a split joke. Ah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Professor X could be one of his personalities. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever watch, so this is a total side note, have you ever watched videos of people who vlog who have that actual disorder? The no. Dissociative personality disorder? Negative. Oh man, if you want to go down a rabbit hole one night, that's the one to go down. Anyways, continue. Well, I just wanted your opinion. What do you think that Marvel may try to do, or what do you think they should do now that they're going to be buying all this stuff back up? Should they hold off on making some of these movies, or like you said, should they? They should probably. They should do a Doctor Strange two and a, and a Panther two and the Guardians three. Those, yeah, those are. I'm good with all those. Those locked. But these new ideas, what should? Where's when's the Dazzler movie coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, could you imagine? It'd be like a, a pop star movie. Well, and, that, and of course, there's all sorts of Marvel characters they haven't gone into. Yeah. Like, they haven't even done, like, a She-Hulk oh, okay. movie, or, or okay. a She-Hulk oh something. Oh my god, I, like I would love it so much. <laughs> yeah. I love She-Hulk so much. I love that she's always in Hulk form, and that she's also a lawyer. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and her name's Jennifer. Um, <laughs> apparently, they're doing a Kitty Pride movie. Yeah, that could be cool. I mean... Anything could be good, as long as it's well executed. I don't know why they just don't call her Shadow Cat, but that's yeah, fine. Maybe they'll call, call her that in the movie. I hope so. <laughs> maybe it'll be Kitty Pride colon Shadow Cat. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> I never liked the Ellen Page casting for that, but my Shadow Cat in my head mm. has always been like the 90s version where she looked a bit like that pop singer Tiffany. Mm, I don't know, because I was going to say, yeah, like, I've read the one comic where it's her and Colossus, and it's pretty intense, and I thought the Ellen Page casting was a lot like her. No, no, she used to look, like, in the 90s, she had, like, she looked like, yeah, like, the, I have the, are the Think We're Alone Now song girl that used that to sing in Yeah, that's um, And she had a pet dragon. Yeah, no. <laughs> Seen the pet dragon. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, that's fair. So, I don't know, like I said, I was just kind of speculating here that, uh, like, I am I would be a fan of a Black Widow movie, and I've always been like, they should they should make one, but I feel like, I don't know if Scarlett Johansson would come back for yeah, I think she might come back for one. Maybe just do one, yeah, just yeah. do like a solo shot. I wouldn't, if it was a, I wouldn't mind a Scarlett, or a... That's her and Hawkeye. Her and Hawkeye. That's yeah. like as soon as Avengers One happened and they talked about this and then you could see how they had like a great kind of working relationship with chemistry. Yeah. I was like, make a movie of them. I would watch it right now. <laughs> it so. seems like weird timing to bring it out after she died. Yes. Unless it was somehow tied to another plot line that mm. they're gonna do like an, another overarching story. I don't know, or just like I said, just do like a one shot prequel kind of thing. Yeah. Could, I guess they could, could do be that. cool. Uh, but I, I don't know. Like I said, it was just it's it was interesting because most of the stuff doesn't have locked in dates. Yeah. And now that they're gonna have all these properties coming back, maybe they're trying to rejigger their plans. They and could just do one shot movies of all these characters. So if they did a yeah. Valkyrie movie, I would watch that. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't sure. you? Well, and I think the idea could be that the next Avengers iteration um, could have Valkyrie as Thor, of course. Yeah. And then uh, you could have. You know, Pepper Potts or not, uh, you could have like a you know a Lady Iron Man, and then you could get the, the new Captain America, a Falcon. Yeah. You could have Bucky in there as well if you want. Bring Scarlet Witch back. Bring Scarlet Witch back. Yeah. So you like, there's enough people there to start rebuilding the new a new team. Yeah, yeah. a new team. Uh, Captain Marvel, of course, it could come in and out. Yeah. Uh, so. I don't know. It's like a like it's the building blocks are there. Bigger than Thanos. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, they would have to slow it back down, reintroduce probably Galactus, or they could do something involving an Eternal or something like that. You know, Mm. or another big demon thing. Big demon thing. Yeah, they could just make up their own. I mean. Why would you, though, when you have so much... Sure. Well, that's what I mean. They could just cobble elements together from a couple, you know. Or they could do, like, something like the Secret Wars, now that they have all these characters sort of... What's Secret Wars? Uh, the Secret Wars, there was a couple different iterations, but it was basically, it's like, the characters got placed and villains, but they got mixed together onto, like, a random dimensional planet, and then we're just like, survive, slash go at it. Um, oh! And Galactus got dragged in there in one of the iterations, and then nice. he, like, tries to figure out, because it's basically this big extra-dimensional being that's doing it, and Galactus tries to figure out how to kill him and stifle his power at the same time. So... <laughs> 
It's that's cool. a Doctor Doom movie coming out too. Did you list that in yours? I did not, but that's probably because that's made by Fox. Or is it? <laughs> but they bought Fox. Yeah, but things but that are already if it was still already in production or being shot or whatever. Oh, so. good point. <laughs> I don't know either. Okay. There's lots of things they could do. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're not out of characters, that's for sure. Even if they never well, introduced another Marvel character, they wouldn't be out of character. Yeah, well, but, but here's also the thing. Yeah, like, looking at this list, like, do you think that they should, after Strange 2, no more Strange? Or should they try to keep them around? Like, after Black Panther 2, like, try to introduce a whole new set of characters. Oh, I see what you say. Like, should they continue on with these? Like, I think Guardians 3 will be the last Guardians movie. Yeah, maybe. I agree. Uh, and I know that Chris Hemsworth, he's like, I'll keep playing Thor as long as they pay me. That are like, he's like, oh, <laughs> he's game, and he seems to have fun with it, right? So yeah, and, and I would keep watching them. And I keep watching them, same thing. <laughs> and like, again, with the Guardians movies, uh, like I love that cast in that world that they play around in. So mm-hmm. I'd watch more, but I feel that I this is that Thor's the Thor's and Gu- Guardians three. I think he will be. <gasps> yeah. I mean, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't, almost in a sense, right? That's awesome. Because, again, he has great chemistry with them, and... Maybe. Even just the whole scene at the end, where it's like, we don't have to fight to be the leader. It's like, well, do we need to use knives? Yes, use knives! <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, like, great stuff like that, right? So, and they're both like, ha, 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 ha. No, not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, again, they have great chemistry working together there, so... I don't know. It's just odd because, uh, like I said, I couldn't really find anything concrete, which yeah. is weird as to being like these are the movies because it's twenty twenty is next year. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, in answer to your question, right? If I'm good with all three of those movies, Black mm. Panther two, totally want to see that. Mm. Guardians three, want to see that. Strange two. Strange two, I want to see that. Yeah. I would watch and enjoy. Pardon me, a Black Widow Hawkeye movie. Mm. I'd be totally into that. Yeah. I would like a Valkyrie movie. Mm. If I could just write them a list. <laughs> You're like, Here, here's what you do, Kevin Feige. I got it. <laughs> Please make these movies. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else. I would watch a Scarlet Witch movie. Just her. Sure. Battling yeah. cosmic. Yeah, maybe she's just like, beings. you know what? I gotta go into space and just like to reset. Because I, the Earth, yeah, my vision, I'm out. And <laughs> just like her and Captain Marvel in space doing stuff. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> being gods. Yeah, <laughs> being gods. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'd watch all these movies. Okay, cool. I'd watch anything. Yeah, and like I was saying, I, I was just more just uh, curious as to, like I said, when they're bringing all these problems. I'd watch a movie it's with Captain Falcon as Captain America. Sure, yeah. I, I don't know. I like. I, I'm honestly. I'm so happy mm. with the Marvel universe that mm. anything they put out, I'm going to watch and probably enjoy. Yeah, like I said, there's been a few missteps here and there, but overall, the entire run of movies since Iron Man one. Were they in Deadpool? Yes. Like after they buy Fox. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what I was saying, because uh, Deadpool interacts with the X-Men a lot in the comics. And, and uh, uh, Spider-Man. And Spider-Man, yes. <laughs> If they let, if they let um, Tom Holland grow up a little bit, and then we get, like, Him a... And Ryan Reynolds. ...kind of fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd watch that. Sure, yeah, yeah. Will they have Spider-Verse? No, because that's Sony. Oh, right, they only have a deal for... They only have a deal for Tom Holland's, like, main Spider-Man. Gotcha. <laughs> and I guess some Spider-Man villains, because they have Mysterio coming out for the next movie. Right. And of course, they have the vulture as Michael Keaton. So you did not watch the trailer for That's Far From Home. I don't watch trailers. <laughs> the quality looks not as good to me, but it might be because it was an early. Yeah, it could just be whatever. Thank you. Just, just tease people. It's actually going it to be great if it wasn't actually Mysterio as the villain. Yeah, it was. A, it was a bait switch. <laughs> oh, can I? Oh, fuck! You don't watch trailers. <laughs> Correct. I, I was going to ask you a DC question. Have you, For what DC movie? The fucking Joker coming out. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't watched that. Watching, or starring Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Because if I don't, maybe there's a Nyota chance I might enjoy the movie. <laughs> if it's anything like the trailer, I do not want to see it. Oh, fair. Because it doesn't look like 
anything except a movie that will make you sad. Sure. Well, we just watched a movie that made us sad. No, but <laughs> yeah. not in the same way. I don't it, <laughs> there is. A, I mean, that's the point. It's a character study of an insane. It doesn't jerk. look yeah, okay. look sound or act like the Joker. It's fine. Somebody on Twitter yeah. posted a like a breakdown of the the teaser. Sure. And they were like, you. it's basically a movie about the guy, creepy guy in the office who tells you to smile more, and that's <laughs> what it looks like. Oh, it looks so bad, and everybody's so excited, and I There's do definitely not a lot of hype want to see it. Yeah. I'm not going to. We're not reviewing it. You review it. That's fine, okay. but I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I won't put my money towards that. That's fair. Yeah. I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I guess unless you have any further thoughts, uh, I... I really liked probably, it. I thought it was it great. I, like I want to watch it again. Yeah. That's my final thoughts. I would recommend it. Go watch all the other Marvel movies first, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a total necessary. Like I was saying, my coworkers only seen the two. But they're good. She, they, they are good. <laughs> but if you if you were like just coming into this, you know, you could just watch the mainline Avengers movies and get enough of it to. And you should also watch Doctor Strange because. That's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> I like Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, I, I actually really highly recommend to a lot of people uh, Thor Ragnarok, of course. Oh my god, that was it's, one of the best ones. It's been, it was such a landmark movie in the last few years. Of <gasps> Do you think just they how... bring back, um... What's the name of the actor? Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> yeah. Do you think they'll bring him back for a Guardians movie? <gasps> maybe, I mean... Uh, maybe he can join the Guardians. So like, maybe we could just get a movie of Jeff Goldblum being fancy. <laughs> well, it'd be hilarious with the, that character, of course, from um, Sakaar, I think it was. So, but, so good. Yeah, I mean, if this movie proved anything, is that a lot of people are willing to do cameos of characters they've played previously in Marvel yeah, movies. Yeah, totally. Because <laughs> it literally had everybody. It had everybody. <laughs> yeah. so. Everybody ever. Yeah. I think people know it's a big special thing. Sure. And going into it, I was worried that it would not live up to my expectations. Right. And you were like, I think it'll be a Return of the King situation. Yes. And you were absolutely correct. Yeah. I felt like the, the previous movie was set up so well, and it was made by the same people, and they were just, they had to, it was shot at the same time, so they just had to bring it home. And they did. Hey, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just hey. Saying, <laughs> yeah. You guys all work at Disney. You should. Yeah. Anyways, uh, should we wrap it up? I suppose so. Like I said, great movie, Devin. Great movie. Uh, I know we're joining the chorus of people that have probably said this movie was excellent. And if you've listened this whole time, thank you for listening. And have yep. a great night. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tommy Uselessness. We also have a website, TomyUselessness.com. And that's it. Yeah. Have a good night. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>